going on folks I've been having uh, some troubles with the brake light coming on when you hit up, pull the lever uh, I've already diagnosed it and confirmed that it is that tiny switch down there um, so I'm going to take you along and show you how I diagnosed it and how I fixed it the way that I tested this because originally I was just pulling the brake lever and I was getting no light so I didn't know if it was the bulb itself or some other electrical somewhere in the uh, somewhere on the bike so what I did was I just popped these two contacts off these are independent popped them off and I used just a scrap piece of wire like this okay and once they were off I connected them together with this wire while the key was turned and uh, and the light came on so then I knew it was just the switch uh, that was giving me problems, right? So, I've got the switch off the bike here, and I'm gonna sh I've already gone ahead and fixed it. I'm just going to show you what I did. I used this tiny little screwdriver here to go around and uh, crack all the way around uh, as, where you can see that seam. Uh, and then I realized that they had it pinned here in these three spots uh, with just uh, plastic looks like molded plastic pins that they just forced over so that's one of them there I was able to just take this little the little screwdriver here and and uh, uh, lever up one of the corners and then go around kind of cutting the pin out and uh, now it's loose enough that I can open it by hand, but I used the screwdriver in here earlier. To just crack it open, and once I had the pins out, uh, it, was, it came apart easy enough. So there you go. You want this side to be up because everything is inside here and this can just fall out so you've got the contacts in there when you push the button so the brake lever is not being held by you it's open so the circuit is open um, and when you pull in the lever it releases the button closing the circuit now what I had to do, uh, I tried just some sandpaper, putting it in there, letting it close, and then uh, running it back and forth a little bit, but that didn't end up working. Um, it kind of fixed it, but it was too inconsistent to be safe. So instead, you can just pop this out of here, the whole contact. So I popped that out and just did this a little bit with the this teeny file and that was enough uh, to really clean it up. You could actually see in the middle here between my fingernails it was really worn out so I don't think it was touching um, with the full travel of the button. Um, and then with this out, I depressed the button and was able to do the same thing to that contact there. Just until I had it all shiny, uh, I knew there was no corrosion on it. So that's all I needed to do. I didn't need to mess around with this um, mechanism at all. Now on this half, you can see there the pins where they stick up. Now I think this is just all one molded piece and they left these long and then mushroomed them over to hold that part, uh, to hold them together. Um, since I basically cut the tops of these off, I'm not going to be able to do that. So what I plan on doing next is cutting off the rest of the nub um, from the piece that was mushroomed and sticks through that housing. And I'm going to take this tiny drill bit, drill out the center of each of these columns and use these screws 
which all right so I've got the nubs cut off I'm not sure yeah you could tell um, I cut them down in there so that when I use the drill bit it will center itself in the hole it's already here widen it a little bit and then go down into the post um, to make sure that I get a nice level hole I'm going to use this block put a little hole in it it just fits that uh, protrusion on the bottom that uh, this it helps this helps you uh, make sure you're putting it in the right way on the bike there's a little uh, hole on the master cylinder so I've got it in there and I'm going to use the drill press so we get a nice level uh, hole there and then I realized that uh, these were a little bit longer than I wanted Protect this from corrosion. Look at this. together nicely. Alright. Now, not only do I have a switch that works again for nothing, that still works inside so the screws didn't expand anything and bind anything up, that's good. Uh, but now, this is easily serviceable. All I have to do, unscrew these and pop it open again, uh, if I ever need to. I mean, it was 20 years this thing was probably working uh, before it needed anything. And that was only probably because I let the bike sit for longer than I should have. So I went ahead and put the switch back on the bike. Uh, basically, pull the brake lever pop that back up and put the screw in and you can let the brake lever go once you push this up, right? Yeah. And when you put these back on, just make sure that the rubber goes all the way over the the guard on, or the, uh, there's a little lip on the switch housing and the inside you can see how it uh, is wider here than it is here because it clamps onto the, the lip there uh, to stop any moisture from getting in there um, and that's it I hope this uh, helps anyone who's got uh, switch issues uh, and you don't have to buy a new one you can just fix it I actually uh, I had issues with the with this which is well the uh, turn signals where you 
uh, click it on and you just hear clicks and a delay and then the turn signal will turn on um, and I thought uh, originally I was messing around in the headlight with the wiring uh, to possibly put a light bar on and switch out the turn signals but um, it turns out it had nothing to do with the wiring in here and everything to do with the contacts in here being all gummed up with the old grease um, so there's two screws on this one here and one back here on the bottom um, and you just take them off and this opens up and I just sprayed some electrical contact cleaner in there wiped it out uh, picked some of the grease out of there and put new new dielectric grease in and uh, it's a it's a lot smoother now it was uh, it, it uh, stuck a little bit when you let it go it didn't pop back nicely like it is there not even sure if you could see that now you can it's really smooth uh, so that that was really simple I didn't even bother uh, filming that this this I gotta do a lot of work to this bike because I got it a few years ago and uh, I don't get to ride it that often so some of the maintenance was uh, neglected so uh, I'll probably take you along on on some of those adventures it'll be my first time working on a bike so we'll see how it goes thanks for watching